world, there are lots of things that can drive us into that stress response. Busy schedules, lots of traffic. For some of us, we can even end up being in this kind of state of uncontrolled chronic stress. <laughs> it's like you're reading my mind. So how do we hack our way out of that? Well, it's breathing, actually. Oh, I feel like I do that all the time. Well, this is different. This is deep breathing. So we're going to really try to combat that fight and flight. So what we're going to try and do is drop the breath rate, drop the blood pressure and drop the stress levels. I'm up for trying it. Perfect. Let's go. Priya's hoping a special breathing technique will trigger the opposite of a fight or flight response. It's called a rest and digest response. Fabian, how are you going? Hey. Priya, nice Fabian, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. Very excited. Excited for breath work? Yes. Awesome. We are. We usually breathe 12 to 20 times per minute. But today, we're going to slow that to just six breaths a minute. OK, guys, I just wanted to close your eyes. And we're going to do something which is called heart coherence breathing. OK, here we go. Good luck. I call it the highway to inner peace. It's five seconds in through the nose and five seconds out through the nose. So meeting on an exhale now, we're going to breathe in. Five, four, three, two, one, out. Our breathing usually runs automatically. Choosing to breathe slow and deep signals to your nervous system that there's no threat. So your mind calms. Blood vessels dilate, which improves blood flow, lowers blood pressure and muscle tension. All the way down. Your heart rate slows and variability between beats rises, a sign of a relaxed, healthier heart. Slow controlled breathing is also practiced in yoga and Tai Chi, a hack that has been used for centuries. Back into your body. Start slowly, gently moving your fingers and your feet. When you're ready to feel absolutely amazing, you can open your eyes. So, has it worked? But you do feel like... Yeah, it's, it's funny because you, you kind of feel like it's just breathing. You do it I every know. day, it's not going to have a huge effect on you, but... It, it really does. Like, I feel, I feel quite relaxed, Ooh. noticeably relaxed. Yeah, so do I, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, this is something I prescribe to a lot of patients. I prescribe kind of slow, deep breathing, particularly when you're anxious or you're stressed. So we know there's a lot of evidence for things like mindfulness and meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Really simple, powerful things. Yeah. And there's a palpable difference. Wow. Yeah. It's all very well feeling relaxed while we're sitting around. But will slow, deep breathing keep me calm in a more stressful situation? Well, it looks like I'm about to find out. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get a bad feeling about this? Well, this is something I have been interested in for a while. Ice baths. And so we're going to give it a go today. No. I know. I don't like the cold either, just oh. to reassure you. But when we get in there, Lily, basically our sympathetic nervous system is going to kick in, that real fight and flight. When we see a lion out in the wild, that's what's going to kick in. So all the breath work we just did, trying to slow down the breathing, get that parasympathetic nervous system to kind of combat that sympathetic overdrive, that's really important. We're doing it together. Can I choose flight? <laughs> yeah. I'll come with you, though. Yeah. <laughs> Can I feel how cold it is? Oh, my God! No, I can't do this. This is your first time? Yeah. So just watch the thoughts and then continue to breathe and stay focused to the breath. Count if you need to as well. Yeah, maybe we count. Yeah. Yeah. I like counting. Yeah, you do like counting. You can be the counter. Something to focus yeah. on the man counting. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let it all go. Let it go. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Woo! <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm very nervous. She's too. crying in appropriate response. <laughs> Actually, I feel like that too. But I can feel my heart rate's gone up. 
Um, but I think we just need to really focus on the breath. Everyone around us is saying the breath, the breath, the breath. The breath, the breath. The, breath. the doctor and me is going the breath, Lily, the breath. Okay. Focus on your breathing. Once you catch your breath, you make your exhalations longer. We've got this. Okay, right. okay, We've guys, newbies. Newbies. Okay, okay. Ready, guys? Okay, straight in, no thinking, straight in. That's it. That's it. That's it. Catch your, catch your breath. Two, three, four, five, and out. I'm a mathematician, but it's an effort to count to five. Can I uh, state the obvious? It's really cold. Really? <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> My brain is screaming at me to jump out. But as I breathe slowly, I am coping, mostly. I feel like crying. Is that let it go. Just, just let it go. I think because my kids for some reason. Uh, like, we don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe, Lily. Almost there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Good job. So just get movement in your body. That's it. <laughs> I don't know why my mum went to the kids and I was like, you can do this, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Where would I <laughs> say this? I know. I always cry when I see people cry. I know, me too. But I just, I needed something to get me through. But wow, powerful. I, that I feel really, zinged. I do. I feel alive. <laughs> Deep, slow breathing helped all of us hack the stress of the ice bath showing that we can train ourselves to take charge of our own nervous system. And the more we practice, the more we can build resilience. Because overcoming a challenge feels good. Are we alive? Yeah! <laughs> While it was invigorating, ice baths do come with a health warning. Is it safe for everyone? Well, actually, no. No is the truth. So it's worth checking in with your GP first because there are things that can happen. Hypothermia is one thing. Also, arrhythmias are a factor. So if you've got a cardiac condition, you want to make sure it's safe for you to do. And you need to be careful if you're immersing your whole head, then you can gasp and inhale water as well. So there are a few things you need to be careful of. So is a cold shower the same as an ice bath? Well, probably not. Like, cold showers, a lot of people can do them at home, so it's definitely easy to implement, but you're not getting that same sympathetic overdrive as going into a really cold bath with the ice in it. It's about the immersion. Yeah. And the cold. And the cold. <laughs>